an encounter between the giant squid and the orca has never been caught on camera before, even though such footage would have been an interesting sight. This is why, in this hypothetical documentary video, we have decided to pitch the elusive giant squid versus the notorious orca with the hope of seeing which of these incredible creatures would win. Orcas have a reputation of possessing rare animal intelligence and exceptional hunting skills which help them take down massive prey such as the sperm whale as a result of their collaborative attack strategy and the variety of communicative sounds they make. The giant squid is also not without its own record. Being the largest of all invertebrate when it comes to size, it is also armed with eight suction-lined snake-like tentacles, two long feeding tentacles, a powerful beak, and the largest eye of any living animal, just like its cousin, the colossal squid. With this brief overview of the resume of these two marine beasts, you must be eager to know which would win. Sit back, relax, and watch this video to the end because you just might be in for a huge surprise. The perfect starting point would be to compare the size and weight of our two challengers. The giant squid remains the undisputed largest living invertebrate on our planet. Female giant squids are often bigger than males. Hence, while male giant squids often measure 33 feet or 10 meters in length, females usually measure a whopping 43 feet approximately 13 meters. If you feel this is as large as they could ever get, they are capable of growing even much longer as National Geographic has it that the largest ever found measured at 60 feet, about 18 meters in length. But keep in mind that the two long feeding tentacles take a huge chunk of the size. However, there might even be much larger specimens living deep in our oceans since these squids remain highly elusive and difficult to measure or capture on camera. Unlike the giant squid, in which females are larger than males, the reverse is the case when it comes to the orca. While the female orca measures up to 23 feet or 7 meters in length, the male, on the other hand, grow to a much longer length of 33 feet about 10 meters. When placed side by side, both the giant squid and the orca would relatively be at par in size if you don't count the long feeding tentacles of the giant squid. In terms of weight, however, the orca wins the battle by a wide margin as an orca's body mass could weigh up to a stupendous six tons. This is easily six times the weight of the largest giant squid which weighed almost one ton. The orca gets to win by body mass because, like other squid and octopi, a great percentage of the giant squid's body mass is made of liquid. This is why when they wash ashore, they would often deflate and stretch like rubber. No matter how hard the giant squid might try, it would be extremely hard for it to grapple with the orca, which is more than six times its own body weight. Before we go further into staging a showdown between these two, it is important to consider the possibility of their ever meeting in their various natural habitats. Remains of the giant squid have been found in all the world's oceans. This means they live in just about every sea on planet Earth. Like its challenger, orcas also live in most of the world's oceans. Hence, it is possible that they do meet. However, this possibility is slim since giant squids are deep sea dwellers which prefer living at depths of 1,000 to 3,000 feet, that's about 300 to 900 meters of continental shelf slopes and island slopes where sunlight rarely gets to. On the other hand, Orcas rarely venture that far below sea surface as they often dive between 100 feet and 500 feet. That's up to about 150 meters daily. However, experiments have shown that orcas sometimes do dive much deeper if guaranteed of food. An experiment in 2018 showed a tagged orca in the South Atlantic Ocean diving to a shocking depth of 3,500 feet that's almost 1.2 kilometers, just to steal toothfish from a commercial fishing line. 
This shows that the orca and the giant squid might, after all, encounter one another every once in a while. Hence, there's the possibility of a fight taking place. While giant squids belong to a group of mollusks called cephalopods that have been around for the past 500 million years, the orca is relatively new on Earth as it has been around for only about 11 million years. However, it has an advantage over the giant squid in terms of lifespan. While the giant squid lives for just about 3 to 5 years, female orcas, which live the longest, can live to be 90 years old and maybe even more. In terms of food, there is enough reason for a fight to occur since both animals are predatory and even hunt some similar prey. Giant squids often feed on deep sea fishes, shrimps, other squids, and possibly small whales. Depending on pod or group, orcas feed on a wide range of animals including schools of fishes such as salmon, octopi, rays, squids, seals, sea lions, seabirds, walruses, penguins, turtles, otters, and even large whales. Fishes, squids, and whales are common prey, which is enough reason for a fight. The giant squid is a solitary hunter which hunts by using its long, teeth-lined suction tentacles to hold prey and then pull it closer to its stubby beak in order to bite and or swallow. The orca has immense advantage over the giant squid because it is not only fast and extremely intelligent, but also armed with about 40 to 56 long, interlocking conical-shaped teeth. To make matters worse for the giant squid, if a fight were to ensue, the orca hunts as a pod like a pack of wild wolves. Even in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the giant squid still has little or no chance as the orca has both the brains and the brawn to outwit the squid. The only advantage for the squid would be its perfect vision, which is better suited for the dark oceanic depths as it has large eyeballs which measure up to 30 centimeters or 12 inches in diameter. If it can somehow get the orca to dive to incredibly deep and dark depths and even probably force the orca to stay there for as long as an hour, then the giant squid would win. However, Orcas possess a feature called echolocation, which allows them to locate objects with sound waves even if they cannot see anything with their eyes. Also, getting this intelligent oceanic Einstein to dive dangerously too deep and get entrapped there is relatively impossible for the giant squid to pull off. Giant squids are known to have only one natural predator, sperm whales. This is understandable since sperm whales are about the only large predatory animal that regularly visits oceanic depths for their favorite meal which is unfortunately happens to be squids. Orcas on the other hand have no natural predators except humans. In fact, orcas hunt sperm whales in pods which happen to be the giant squid's only predator. In conclusion therefore, orcas always hunt in packs and therefore can easily overpower even a giant squid. However, if for some reason an orca had to face a giant squid one-on-one, -on -one, it probably would still win. We think it would win about 70 to 80 percent of the one-on-one -on -one fights against the giant squid. But that doesn't mean that the giant squid has no chance. And even if it loses, it would certainly leave some nasty scars and heavily damage the orca. But what do you think? Share your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.